So we've ranked the championship home kits, now it's time to jump into the away kits and we've got some absolute corkers in here. 400 likes if you'd like to see me ranking the third and goalkeeper kits which we've had some interesting ones come out so far. And we've also got some home kits to go over in today's video as well that we missed out last time. So without any further ado, let's dive into those home kits first of all. Apologies to Sunderland fans, this kit had come out by the time that I'd released my Championship Home Kits rankings, but for whatever reason I actually missed this one out. In terms of my thoughts on this one, clean, simple, effective, 6 out of 10, not going to offend anyone, but not really pushing the boat out too much. And this Reading Home Kit has already got people talking. I like the message behind this one. In terms of the actual kit, it's basically a carbon copy of what they were working with last season with a slightly different tweak around the trimmings and then the sleeves which are completely different now. I like the thought process behind this one, a nod to climate change and how that's changed um, in and around the area of Reading and it's shown on the sleeve pattern there. So I like the message behind it but in terms of how it actually looks, it is a bit hideous isn't it to be honest. 4 out of 10 for me that one, not really feeling it albeit I do like the message behind it. And in the last home kit we got to go over in today's video we got the Luton Town home kit which came out the other day and this one I've seen a few mixed responses to but do you know what I'm actually quite feeling this one. It's a little bit wacky, a little bit out there, a little bit different. I think that last season Luton absolutely smashed all of their kits so it was always going to be a bit of a tricky bar to live up to but in terms of how I ranked all the other home kits, I don't actually mind that one. 7 out of 10. But those were some of the home kits that we missed from last time's video. Now let's go ahead and jump into the away kits. Starting out with the Blackburn Rovers away kit now, I do think this one is a slight improvement on the home kit which I really wasn't feeling. It does have some nice detailings and um, the blue trimmings around the neck and the sleeves as well. It ha does have some nice detailings of the rows in there if you look closely to this one but once again I said it about the home kit, that sponsor is absolutely hideous and I don't think I can go higher than a 5 on this one, to be honest, because of that. Next then to the Blackpool Away kit for the season. I've seen some quite positive reviews for this one, really, but myself, I'm just not feeling this one. I get that it's a nod to the past and tradition and things like that, but I actually think that sponsorless, this kit would have actually come off looking quite clean, but with the sponsor in there and how this design pattern works, you know, it's quite busy going on throughout the shit, I just think it looks like a little bit of a jumbled mess to be honest. Sponsorless, I reckon that one could have looked quite clean, but with that muddling up everything in the middle, I'm going down to a three with that one, really not feeling it. Bristol City's home kit this year was a little bit of a shambles, but their away kit is bringing up the standard ever so slightly. I'm going to go for a six out of ten for this one. Not my favourite away kit to come, but definitely a massive improvement over the quite tragic home kit that Bristol City will be rocking with this year. They've got the stripe pattern running down one side. Looks like a Southampton kit to be honest. Gives off those sort of vibes but 6 out of 10 for me. Don't hate that one. And the same can be said for Cardiff with this one as well. I'm going to go for a 6 out of 10. It's a grey kit which has a little bit of a fade which goes on throughout the strip. I found it quite difficult to rank this one actually because a lot of the still pictures that I've seen of this one I've not been completely digging, but actually in action, this one looks all right. So I feel like this is a kit that I need to see in person to fully appreciate because time being, 6 out of 10 for me, it's sort of in the middle. Next up then to the Coventry Away kit for this season and this one's coming in as an absolute beauty. This is right up there in terms of one of my favourite kits that's been released by a championship club this season. If you watch my home kit ranking video, I wasn't really fully on board with the home kit that Coventry have gone with this year. I know that that one's been a bit of a Marmite one. Some people have really liked it. I feel like this one may have a similar effect, but I think this one is absolutely firing on all cylinders. Love the colour scheme for this one. Love the funky stripes that it's gone, got going on throughout it. If this one had a bit more of an iconic sponsor that fit into this one, then maybe even I'd be pushing a 10, but all things considered, 9 out of 10, Easily one of my favourite kits this season. That's an absolute banger from Coventry. And we are keeping the level high. Another one of my favourite kits released this year is Huddersfield Away. Really wasn't feeling their home kit either this season, but they have more than redeemed themselves with this away kit coming in for the season. We saw quite a few blackout kits last season. Um, over the last couple of years, they've become more and more popular. And it's simple, but so effective, isn't it? Because of how common they've been over the last few years, they're not winning any points for originality or anything like that, but 
it just comes off time after time. 8 out of 10, really like that one from Huddersfield. Next then for Hull City's away kit for the season, and do you know what? I actually quite like this one as well, funnily enough. When I first saw it, I was a little bit unsure, but the more it sort of sat on me, the more I like this one every time I see it. It's got those thin pinstripes which run throughout this one, which give it some nice detailings. I think the sponsor is a decent fit into the colour scheme to give this one a little bit more flavour, coming off with the white background. And then the trimmings actually around the colour and on the sleeves, I think they give this one a little bit more flavour as well. 8 out of 10, I quite like that one, especially compared to the home kit. Luton Town up next. Now, I was a fan of what they were rocking with for their home kit. In terms of how the away kit's gone this season, oh, this is an ugly one. It's not coming in particularly well. It's got a very similar sort of sleeve design um, to what we'll see in the Swansea away kit later on in the video. But in terms of the actual kit, they've kept it really simple on the strip. But what goes ahead and just deads this one is that really flimsy looking sponsor. It's absolutely massive on this shirt. You're drawn to it straight away. It does look a little bit tacky, doesn't it? 2 out of 10. I think that's one of the worst ones we've seen this season. Middlesbrough came out with my least favourite championship home kit this season. But you know what? I think they might have come out with one of my favourite away kits of the season. I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. I think this one is absolutely firing on all cylinders. And they more than redeemed themselves for that hideous home kit that they came out with. But I absolutely love the design pattern for this one. I think the streaks of blue look absolutely fantastic with the white trimmings as well how they've reworked the badge to have that white fade on it. it looks really nice and comes across really clean on this one still not massive on the sponsor but i think it's less sort of in your face with this one yeah with the other one having that massive um white strip going across it i think it blends into this kit a little bit nicer Really just like the design pattern of this one, like the shades of blue going on for it. Yeah, 9 out of 10, one of my favourite away kits of the season, that one. After that, we then head over to the Millwall away kit. And I think that Millwall have come out with two of the most solid kits this season, actually. Was a fan of the home kit, and I'm a fan of the away one as well. Once again, I think the sponsor looks nice on this one. I like the colour scheme going on with it. It doesn't look all too busy, but it still has that look um, of coming across quite clean really. Like the design pattern, like the black and red lines going on through this one thing. It looks quite nice in off the yellow as well. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for me that one. Millwall, good job with their kits this season. And do you know what? I think the same could be said for Norwich City as well. Out of the two, I probably do prefer their home kit. I think I gave that one a 9 out of 10. But do you know what? Their away kit is right up there in my estimations as well. This one's got the lines running through this one. Um, I quite like the gold trimmings on this one. Gives the kit a little bit of prestige really. Uh, once again, how they've reworked that badge there to go ahead and fit in with the colour scheme. I think the sponsor looks quite nice on this one. And it's just quite a sort of classy and richish looking kit really. 8 out of 10 for me. Like that one. Next up then we had to my team Preston North End and honestly I'm not massively on board with our away kit for the season. I don't hate it but I certainly don't love this one either and we tend to go with the yellow away kit which if done correctly I think can be quite nice. You know we saw that with the Millwall kit. This one though boring night going for a bit of a template and um, it's nothing that we haven't seen before really the sleeves design make it uh, they give it a bit of something but it is just a yellow template top so five out of ten bog standard qbr's away kit for the season fairly similar to norwich whereby they've gone for the gold trimmings on this one and i think qbr pull this one off quite nicely as well actually i definitely prefer this kit over their home kit i was sort of in the middle with their home kit but really liking the look of this one does have that very much sort of Barcelona sort of feel to it. So I certainly hope that we're in for a treat of watching QPR on the pitch this season. But yeah, big fan of this kit. I think the hoops look absolutely fantastic. Like the colour scheme, like the gold trimmings on it as well. 8 out of 10, really solid kit. After that, we then head to Rotherham and... I think I like this one. I can't quite work out whether I think it's hideous or it comes across quite well. I think I'm erring on the side of liking this one. Looks quite similar to something you'd expect Hull to come out with if this was a sort of orange and black number as their home kit. But something a little bit quirky, something a little bit different. And to push the boat out and be that sort of quirky, I think Rotherham have done quite well with this season. I was a fan of the home kit and 
in terms of away kits having that unique selling point to it 7 out of 10 Stoke City's away kit I'm a little bit in the middle with this one I think it does look quite clean to be fair um, with the sort of seat belt design going across this one with the slash me myself in terms of what I like as a preference I've never really been a massive fan of kits designed this way but in terms of those slash kits I think this one pulls it off quite well to be fair I like the black trimmings on this one as well and I like how there is some um, differentiation between that stripe with the two red bits running alongside it as well. 6 out of 10 for me. I'm not the biggest fan of that style of kit, but I think they pull it off quite well. After that to Sunderland now, you saw pretty much this exact kit with the Preston North End kit. It is a Nike boring template being used once again. It's the same pattern on the sleeves. It's just a different colour scheme for this one. Sunderland going with the blue. Uh, yeah, 5 out of 10 once again for me. It's boring Nike doing the boring templates. I do wish they'd switch it up a little bit but Nike in the championship have got incredibly lazy over the last few years and I think that this blends into that really. Next then for the Swansea away kit for the season it does massively give off sort of Team GB vibes with this kit. I know before any Swansea fans say that it's not a Union Jack on the sleeves, but the way it's designed, it does look that way. Um, if you've seen this one at a glance or something like this, but it's a throwback to a Swansea kit of the past. And do you know what? I actually quite like this one, especially compared to the tragic and quite flimsy home kit. I think this one's coming in with a load of character, a load of flavour. And I'll push it up to around about a 7 out of 10 is, I think, where I stand on this kit. Definitely a massive improvement over the home kit. Next then to the what for the way kit for the season and oh my god this one had so much potential to be an absolute beauty and I still think it's a really nice kit albeit the sponsor really detracts from this one I think with how big it is, how flimsy it looks. If you look closely at that it looks like a sticker which is going to come off after one wash of this kit. If it wasn't for that this one will be right up there in terms of one of my favourite kits for the season. Disregarding the sponsor, I think that in terms of the actual design pattern, the colour scheme, I think this one's an absolute beauty. Love the blue, love the different shades, love the trimmings of the white around the collar, how they've got the badge in that way as well. It's just the sponsor which bumps this one down a little bit to a 7, but without that, if this one was sponsorless, my god, this would be an absolute banger. West Brom just love a yellow and green number for their away kit, don't they? And I do like this kit, albeit not quite as much as I'm feeling the home kit. Once again, love the the old school badge for this one. I like the big thick stripes. The only place where I don't really vibe with this one all too much is the stripe in the middle and how it breaks has that fade to go ahead and incorporate the sponsor in there. I get they had to do that because otherwise the sponsor would be lost with the colour scheme for this one but I just don't I'm not quite as big of a fan of that stripe break um, as I am the home kit with those full bold stripes that go all the way down the kit. I think the colour scheme works quite well to be honest. I like these designed West Brom kits but not quite as big on that as I am the home kit. 6 out of 10. And then finally for Wigan Athletic who are coming in with a really solid addition for their away kit as well. I was a little bit 50-50 on what to think of their home kit but I think a lot of people will be big fans of this one. I like the colour scheme on this one, a black away kit you can never go wrong with and I like the yellow additions on this one as well. The sponsor fits in well to it, the badge looks nice. I like the funky shapes they've got going on around this kit as well, looks a little bit like a beehive with how it's designed. I actually think this could be a kit which looks nicer in person as well, I've given it a 7 out of 10 but in the flesh, this one could be bumped up to an A. But guys, there we have it. Those are all the championship away kits that we've had released as of recording right now. We've still got a few championship clubs to release their away kits. We're still waiting on Sheffield Jack to release their home kit as well as things stand. But if you did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular content. Like I say, do drop a like if you'd like to see me reacting to some goalkeeper and third kits for the season. We've had some funky ones of them out already. But thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.